Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another vid. We have some unfortunate news today. Well, depending really how you want to look at it. Mandalorian Season 3's first episode gets a runtime release, and it's the lowest of any Star Wars Disney Plus show to date. So this article says the highly anticipated Star Wars Disney Plus series, The Mandalorian, will soon bring Season 3 in its premiere, reported to be a surprise length. The last time fans saw a new episode of The Mandalorian, not including these those installments of the Book of Boba Fett, which, I mean, super cool episodes, but also, what the hell, we were coming for Boba Fett, was all the way back in December 2020. Din Djarin's jaunt with the legendary bounty hunter is likely to inform the third season, though, with several plot lines expected to be followed upon. Other surprises are surely in store, too, including the possible return of the previously mentioned Boba Fett, as well as the appearance of a certain sequel trilogy villain. Star Pedro Pascal has previously teased how much the world opens up for Mandalorian mythology and that the many episodes are so big and so bold. So how long is season three's premiere? According to reliable cryptic 4K qual on Twitter who has shared accurate runtimes in the past. The Mandalorian's upcoming season three premiere will be much shorter than many expect. You're shorter than I expected. Jedi scum. Currently, it's reported that the installment will be 35 minutes and 16 seconds. What? So really a 30 minute episode, you know, with credits and all that stuff, because usually the credits are extremely long. This makes it the shortest premiere yet for any Star Wars project. The runtime of previous Star Wars Disney Plus project premiere episodes, which include their core credits, can be found below. So these, these are all the other shows. Mando Season 1, 1 hour 38 minutes. Fantastic first episode to the first season premiere. Mandalorian Season 2, 51 minutes. Book of Boba, 37 minutes. Obi-Wan Kenobi, 52 minutes and or 39 minutes. So this by far, you know, we've been waiting almost three years for The Mandalorian season three now, and it's the shortest, shortest premiere. I was hoping, you know, it'd be a little bit longer, you know, after all this wait, but it really doesn't matter how long it is. It could be 20 minutes long. I mean, I've seen fan films that were 10 minutes long that left me wanting more. So I'm sure that, you know, 30 minute runtime is still gonna give us plenty of stuff to, you know, theorize and have fun with. But of course, those longer episodes are what we want as fans. Why is the Mandalorian Disney Plus premiere shorter than expected? You're shorter than I expected. The initial reaction many will likely have is disappointment. After all, shorter does mean less time with Pedro Pascal's leading hero. However, it's the quality of the final product that matters. Yeah, of course. After all, wouldn't it be better to have a perfect 30 minute story instead of a meandering, unfocused 60 minute one? We've seen many Star Wars projects today with Disney that have been drawn on way too long with episodes that really didn't get anywhere or further the plot, both in animated and live action. This is in Kenobi, in Andor, in Bad Batch, Rebels, whatever you want. There have been many episodes that people would like to call quote unquote filler. So with this, I certainly hope that there isn't any room for any filler in the first episode and that we'll get a very nice opening premiere to season three. The Mandalorian isn't the only popular project to be getting, ooh, a spider. To be getting surprisingly short episodes, HBO's The Last of Us has a finale that sits at 43 minutes long compared to its usual hour or longer run. So I feel like if you have an episode that's like 43 minutes, you're, you're getting about like 30. I gotta kill the spider. I feel like when you get an episode that's like 40 minutes or so, usually you get, you know, like 35, 37 minutes of playtime, which, you know, I feel like anything more than 30 minutes is you're, you're getting into it. Like it's starting, it's just beginning and, you know, you're feeling good. But Maybe this one starts off with a bang. It's third season, so we know where we're going already. We're heading it. We know the characters very well. We're heading deep into the story already, and we're kind of like beyond the middle of it. We're actually, John Favreau has said that we're actually only in the middle of the whole story, which means we could get six to eight seasons of this whole show. When it comes to Star Wars Disney Plus series outing, the short length is admittedly unexpected, given the many rumors and story beats the show is likely to cover, such as the possible introduction of Sabine Wren. One would think these installments would be as long as possible. This is particularly true after season two was gifted a whopping 52 minute premiere, starting off its run of episodes with a bang. Yeah, so, you know, unfortunately, like it's shorter, a lot of, you know, some people here saying that it should be an hour let's just keep the current version of boba fett out of it nobody gets hurt um yeah again super weird that mando was in boba cool episodes for sure some of my favorite actually of mando but grogu reuniting with him is very confusing and for mainstream fans you know they don't really understand because they didn't keep up with the whole thing so i'm gonna go ahead and make a tweet so follow me at real sw theory on twitter and i'm gonna see what you guys think about this low runtime are you for it are you against it do you not care because you're just about quality and you're hoping that, you know, whatever we get, it's just going to 
help the story move along regardless because we're already into season three. We know the characters well. Or are you into the longer run times? You know, personally, I like to sit and watch a longer run time. Um, even if there is filler in there, you know, at least that longer runtime gives us a, an opportunity or a higher opportunity, higher chance to have more juicy stuff in there. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm excited. This, you know, March 1st is going to be a watch party long remembered. I remember doing all the watch parties with you guys for The Mandalorian, and I can't wait to start them again. Those were some of my most fun times on the channel, doing a lot of those watch parties with you guys. So let me know what you think about these short run times. There's a lot of theories I have, but uh, on to the next video now, and I'll see you guys in that one. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you always.